Yeah, it's the ambassador. I'm back again. And I want to show y'all something else. Because I'm doing my digging. And I want to show y'all what I'm seeing. Hold on a second. I got to tell the missus what's up. Okay, girl. To you all, Earl. RL, girl. I'll be there soon. Girl. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. You see, that damn Bill Gates, you got to keep an eye on him. Because that boy is a snake. That boy is seed of the serpent. I'm going to show you how he the seed of the serpent. I'm not going to take a long time to show it to you because I want to do a little short video here and there. I ain't trying to be doing two, three hour long videos. It don't take that damn long for me to explain nothing to you. Because everybody here has an honorary degree from Harvard. We already got those degrees doing the live streams. All right? So I need you to understand. I gave all y'all a Harvard degree. And I need you to understand. And if you're listening now, you just got your Harvard degree. You understand? Watch this. Data centers will likely be built in prime agricultural land. Right? Require a whole lot of water and energy. World Economic Summer Davos in China. Now, I, you know what? We're we going to do one better. L let, let's go get the video. Now, you know, before I told Satan get behind me, because that was a human. Now, before I was trying to be nice, because them girls on the news was humans, but these is lizards. And let me tell you something. This thing right here looked like that thing off Dark Crystal. You remember the, the TV show Dark Crystal? Where they had the, the eagle looking things on Dark Crystal And they came out And it was like ah. This Dark Crystal Let's see what Dark Crystal got we to say We have immense potential um, to support sustainable development Across many of the so social, environmental and economic lenses That we're really interested in um, I think all of the technologies in the report Particularly if we consider them as a system of technologies um, And if we consider them in a way that's purposeful And aimed at social and environmental and economic good um, I think we're going to see that collectively they will be able to move us forward. Um, just taking the example, for example, of um, AI for scientific discovery, I think there are lots of ways that we can you know, aim this technology for a whole range of, of societal benefits. There's a lot of potential, for example, in early warning systems. How do we understand the environment in a more targeted way? How do we bring together a lot of the work of the scientific community across disciplines uh, to be able to look at these things? How do we think about uh, applying these, particularly around reducing waste and enhancing circular economies? And I think um, in this... You know what a circular economy is? A circular economy is when the money circle back to their damn pocket. That's what a circular economy is, when the money circle back. See, I'm not supposed to go this deep on this damn video. I'm not supposed to go this deep on this damn video. I'm not supposed to go this deep on this damn video. But you see, we're going to have to just go. This collection of technologies, there's some really good examples for that. One of them's the alternative livestock uh, feed, uh, which I think has got a huge huge amount of potential to use some of the food waste uh, out of our food systems for those um, using algae. Now let's be clear, to use some of our food waste. Now, when you and I eat food, let's say you eat an apple, let's say you eat a fish, let's say you eat some steak, let's say you eat uh, some grapes, let's say you eat some mushrooms do you create food waste yeah you create waste to come out your bottom go into the toilet and go about his business so what the hell does she mean food waste think about it what she mean food waste let me see if she gonna tell us what she means. Using some of these other really innovative technologies uh, to improve, I think, some of the challenges around things like land conflict. Mm -hmm. So we can reduce land conflict potentially by reusing things that have already come from the land, not using new land to produce new food uh, for other things. Right, yeah, so we don't want to produce no new food for the animals. We want to reuse CO2 and hydrogen and feed them. 
some made up food. See, that's why they want your ass to eat bugs. And I'm the, the whole purpose of me getting to this, going into this, and I wasn't supposed to go this far, but let's just go there. You see, the whole reason why they need, they want that land is because of this part right here. That they need this damn land for data centers. And they need the land for damn data centers so they can spy on your monkey behind. That's what they need the land for, to spy on you. So that brings me to the next point. The point I was trying to get to before I got distracted by the dark crystal girl. And I feel like I should let her talk a little bit more. But you see, you're wondering why Bill Gates bought up all the farmland. Everybody's like, Bill Gates is buying all the farmland. Bill Gates is buying all the farmland. Bill Gates is buying all the farmland. When I do this, this is James Jazz Hands Williams. Let me be Jazz Hands. Bill Gates is buying up all the farmlands. Because he's going to build damn data centers. Stankonian Ambassador, you are crazy. I got to tell you, Ambassador, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. All you know about is a dog, man. You ain't no researcher. You don't know nothing. You don't know a damn thing, Stankonian. No, you don't know nothing. I know. I know. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Change the way power is generated. Here we are, uh, standing on what will soon be the bedrock of America's energy future. Part of what sets this planned $4 billion facility apart is its use of sodium instead of water for cooling. This helps the reactor produce energy three times more efficiently than traditional water cooling systems, meaning a lot less nuclear waste. Yeah, so building nuclear power plants has lots of challenges, but uh, the real problem the industry would run into is that uh, the costs uh, just gotten uh, too high. It's a potential fiscal storm that Gates, one of the top five wealthiest people on the planet, seems prepared to weather. That's because we're the risk. We're going to support electrification. We're going to support keeping uh, the world's best data centers uh, here in the country. Uh, and so we do need a lot more energy. And you're the pioneers uh, that are going to make that happen. Now, let me introduce you to the gates of hell. I need you to understand. The gates of hell won't you dead. He's going to introduce himself. I'm going to let him talk to you. He's going to tell you what he's doing. But you got to add a piece to the puzzle. I'm gonna just watch what he say. Gates, chairman and co-founder of TerraPower. I'm happy to be with you on this exciting day for our company and for the future of energy. Fifteen years ago, I assembled a group of experts to explore the technologies necessary to solve the dual challenges of global energy poverty and climate change. It became clear that an essential tool to solving both is advanced nuclear power. Nuclear power is the only carbon-free energy source we have that can deliver large amounts of power day and night through every season, almost anywhere on Earth. And it's been proven to work on a large scale. It's really fantastic, combining the best attributes of- Shut your ass up. Shut your ass up. Bill, shut up, shut up right now. Some bitch getting on my nerve. Sorry, but in the farmland that he bought in Wyoming, that's what he's doing. He's building many nuclear power plants, and I submit this to you. I know it sounds crazy. Sounds real crazy, but how large? does a data center have to be? Are you listening to me? How damn large does a data center have to be in order for you to need a, to need a nuclear powered reactor? Hmm? How large does a data center need to be in order for you to need farmland in Wyoming and a nuclear powered reactor? Everybody won't sit here and say that we live in a matrix and that this whole thing is a simulation. What you expect me to believe is that I live in a simulation, that Jesus Christ ain't real and I live in a simulation. Why this bastard right here is trying to build the damn matrix from the movie. 
So what you're trying to tell me, what you want me to believe is that I'm somewhere, my real body is somewhere laying like this with some VR goggles on. I got some thing down my throat and I'm like, Whoa. and I'm and I'm fantasizing about everything and none of this is real. While simultaneously, the lizard people, what's a little lizard name for Facebook? Lizard Zuckerberg? He got a virtual headset that he putting on people to put them into the VR world. This damn lizard right here is building nuclear power plants for data centers so he can store all your data while you're in the virtual world. And you want me to believe that I'm currently in the virtual world? I ain't boo-boo the damn foo-foo. And on top of that, on top of all of that, these people doing it right in front of our face. See, I'm about to go Sam Jackson. I'm done. I'm done. Believe me. Don't believe me. Listen. Don't listen. You're going to find out. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn. You're going to learn.